So welcome to the second netcast to show you how to create a dynamic report. And this is the report we're going to try and create. Um, we've got our sales reports, uh, sales of widget service and financing, and we're going to take that by month. And we're just going to use, choose one parameter, and then it's going to pull in the previous uh, 11 months automatically. And we, uh, we saw last time how that in the parameter sheet we have this column here, column A, which gives us all the months. Um, and in the dynamic report, we, we can pull the month. So if we add in any any number of uh, new months, uh, that will then be selectable on the, uh, on the dynamic report. And then we have this little formula here, which actually, if this is the 1st of November, what that does, that uh, takes the... Uh, the number of days in the preceding month uh, from the uh, original month and then that will give us the kind of first of October and we're just displaying the month and the year. The second thing I've done um, is to create a second range dynamically called month range. So the month label is dynamic and will expand as you uh, increase the months uh, but we have a second uh, range here which actually shows uh, which again will also expand dynamically uh, and this gives the range of the data that we want to look up which is in column B and the the data we want to sum in column C and what we've got is we've got revenue reports um, in each worksheet so we've got the December sales here January and the February sales all slightly different and what we can see is that we always have the uh, the accounts in column B and the the data to sum in column J. So we're just going to, uh, and that's these are the ranges that we put in uh, to the uh, um, into these particular fields. So in terms of being able to create a dynamic report, the first thing we're actually going to use the sumif function, but the the key thing we need to do is to dynamically look up. The appropriate range for the sum ifs based on the month. So let's just look up based on the month the month range comma two. So that would be that would contain the set of labels against which we want to do the sum if. And if we do a look up here again on the month underscore range and we'll then pull the range that we want to sum. Now the key trick on this one we're going to do a sum if but we're then going to use the indirect function to evaluate that range. We're going to look up this is the criteria against we do and then we're going to do the sum range and when again we're going to use indirect just to pick up that and there perfectly we're going to get uh, 238 which if we look at November 11 is the sales of widgets and if we change that to December 11 we've got 245 perfect so the only thing we need to do now is just to copy and paste this into a single formula. Okay, that that works. So we've got that. We then just need to make sure we do the lookup of the month. It's always going to be in row three. The the account is always going to be in column B and then if we just copy the formulas there we've got all the formulas we need and then if we do November and that is pulling all the data dynamically so let's just check December 10 we've got 735 which is that there so we have a perfect dynamic report and all we need to do every month is, is run the uh, new sales report, put it in a worksheet, update the parameters 
and then everything is pulled dynamically. Perfect.